Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on getting started with Amazon's IoT. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through setting up a thing, a certificate, and a policy. Then we will be publishing, subscribing, and sending messages via the MQTT protocol. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to create is a thing. Now a thing is just a representation of the device that you're using to connect to IoT. So in this case, we're just going to call it tutorial. And for this tutorial, since we're just getting started, we're not going to choose a thing type and we're not going to add any attributes. So we're just going to go ahead and click create. So now that we have our thing created, the next thing we need to create is a certificate. And our certificate is going to be a way for us to publish and subscribe safely to our thing. So we're going to uh, click and create a certificate and we're also going to activate it as well. Um, so in this case, we're going to download the certificate and the private key and we need to download the root CA certificate as well, which is provided uh, by Amazon, which I'll provide in the description below. So we're gonna download the root CA certificate. You can see that I can click here to download it. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna save link as, and I'm gonna download this certificate. So you can see I've got the root CA, I've got the certificate from Amazon's IoT that I generated, as well as the private key. Uh, so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to associate this certificate to the thing. So I'm going to select my certificate, I'm going to go to actions, and I'm going to attach it to a thing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start typing in tutorial, and you're going to see that it pops up here, and we're going to click attach. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a policy. Now all a policy is, is you can think of it like an AIM uh, user where you're going to give them specific actions that they can do against a specific resource. So in this case, we're saying you can perform all IoT actions um, and we're going to give it a star of a resource so you can perform all actions for all resources. But it all depends on your use case of what you want to do, what you want to allow and what you want to deny. So we need to go ahead and add that statement and then we're going to be able to click create. So now that our policy is created, we need to associate our policy to our certificate as well. So we're going to select our certificate, we're going to select actions, we're going to attach a policy, and all we're gonna do again is we're just gonna type in the policy name and we're gonna go ahead and click attach. Now if we take a look at the details of our certificate, we can see two things here. We can see that we have our policy and our thing both attached to it, and we can choose to detach these if we want. Um, and if we take a look at our thing, we're going to be able to see that we have some linked certificates. So if I go ahead and click on my thing, I look at the details, you can see linked certificates. And if I click show all, you can see the certificate that is associated with it as well. So we are all set up here and everything's ready to go to start uh, sending messages back and forth. So now we're going to go jump into an application that I've downloaded called mqtt.fx, which I will link in the description below. And we are going to connect to our REST API endpoint, and we are going to publish and subscribe and send messages back and forth. So what we're going to do inside of this application is we're going to add a new connection. So we're going to jump over to the gear icon here. And to add a new connection on the bottom left, I'm going to click plus. I'm going to give this connection a name, and we're just going to call it tutorial. Our broker address is going to be our REST API endpoint. Uh, so if you select your thing and you go to your thing's details, you're going to highlight just the domain name here, and that is going to be our broker address. So we're going to paste that in there. Our broker port, since we're going over SSL, is going to be 8883, and we can leave our client ID as is right here. And so now we're going to select SSL slash TLS. We're going to enable it, and what we need to do is we need to select the self-signed certificate. All we're going to do is we're going to select our CA file, and that's going to be the VeriSign file that we downloaded, which is the root CA from Amazon. We're going to grab our client certificate file, which is .crt here, and we're going to grab our uh, private key, which is our .key, and these are going to be PEM formatted keys. So we're going to click this box, we're going to click apply, and then OK. And so now we can go ahead and connect. So you can see that we have a successful connection and now it's time to subscribe to some topics and publish to those topics. So I'm going to jump over to the subscribe tab. We're going to subscribe to hello. We're going to jump over to publish and we're going to publish to the hello topic. And we're just going to say world and we're going to publish. And so if we jump back over to the subscribe, we can see that we have uh, successfully gotten that message. And so we're going to go ahead and create another one. We'll call it testing. We're going to subscribe to that. So you can see I'm subscribed to multiple different topics. 
So if I'm going to publish to testing, and we say hi there, and we click publish, we can see that we got a, another message. So that concludes our tutorial on setting up the basics for AWS IoT. In our next tutorial, I'll walk you through creating shadows, as well as setting up a physical device to connect to IoT. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.